Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps the Beauty, and it is Sunday night. And I'm sorry for my dogs; they're going to be whining till her, the father gets home. So I'll have to put up with that whining for a little bit. He's almost here, so let's see. I don't see anybody in here yet. There we are. Hi, Ray. Ray. <laughs> Uh, so I have a few books. Hi, Joan. <laughs> hey, Orla. Hey, Jay. So I have a few books. I'll wait for a few more people to come in before we go. Doing okay. Just started driving, so watch out on the roads. <laughs> I still can't do the stairs. I can do the stairs going up with one foot, but I have to do the stairs going backwards because I just don't have enough strength in my left leg yet. So <laughs> yeah, you got to be first front row seat. <laughs> oh, you're going to hear dogs whining in the back. So I'm sorry about that, <laughs> but he should be here any minute. So I'll take care of that. So I'll start off first with um, oh, this company here. Let me see this. This is a new company called Paper Fashion. I love their logo. I wish I would have done that with mine. But they um they come out with um, watercolors. They've come out with some new gouache. Um, trying to think what else. Oh, the little watercolor book. So I want to see what their paper is like. And this is um, 140 pounds, and you get 40 pages. So hey, CB. <laughs> but wait, don't answer what. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh, I can't believe you and Joan are already done with your cards and stuff for Maryland. I'm nowhere near. I haven't done any cards. I haven't done anything for Maryland. <laughs> hey, Vicki. So let's see. So it's like um, kind of like a Strathmore cover, you know, those soft covers. And let's see, the paper inside is smooth. So yeah, hot press paper. You can see it's really smooth. Get back, get back there. Come on, come on, hold on a second. No, I didn't, oh, I lost the paper. Come on. No, I gave them one and then they were still, yeah. still going. going on about it. Go. Get cracking, thanks, Joan. <laughs> And it is stitched on the inside, so you can see. You can see there that's stitched. Um, but yeah, the paper is smooth on both sides, so be interesting to see to play with. So, hey, Shauna. Oh my God, I'm jealous of your Paul uh, Rubin uh, water brush. Now I'll have to go get one <laughs> just to see. But anyway, this is. I was just telling him this is a new company called Paper Fashion. So you can see here, Paper Fashion, and they come out with their own gouache, their own watercolor. Um, she's well known, I think, in New York. She's uh, her name is Katie Rogers, and so she's got she's with American Crafts now. So she, uh, oh, you haven't finished? She'd be good because <laughs> I haven't even started. But this is a small. Uh, it looks like the Strathmore um, watercolor book. Oh, there she has her name in there. <laughs> I love her logo. Um, but this is very um, hot press water color, 140 pounds. So, so I'll have to try that one day. Um, I did get the watercolor, so I'm waiting for them to come in to see. Um, anyways, at Barn and Nobles, I was just watching the rerun. Oh, you were watching the rerun. <laughs> yeah, she has the Paul Rubens, the pink brush. So I saw, I know um, the girl I follow, Edie, she um, has the combination where there's like four or five paint brushes and she loves the paint brushes. So, so I might have to splurge and try to get that. But I thought of you when I was in Barnes and Noble, Vicki, with this. Look, it, it's a Chinese calligraphy workbook. If you guys um, don't know Vicki Ross in the chat, she has a YouTube that she does and she's always doing these Chinese letterings on her mixed media stuff. It's so cool. It's like, oh my gosh, I want to be able to do that. But this is an actual workbook and it's got the name of, it has 50 characters. So I have to, I'll give you a quick run through on this. Can you see? Let's see if I can bring you down a little more. Let me see. I can get my camera. Hold on a second. I don't know if I can. Let's see. Oh, 
hold on. I always have a problem with uh, trying to get my camera going. Yeah, I can't. It won't let me do it. Uh, so I'll just have to bring it up closer to you guys. <laughs> but so it's got 50 characters, so and it, it can actually work. Her goddess writing, is that what you call it? <laughs> it's a nice book, too. It's got it's stitched together. And it tells you how to use the book, what kind of papers, the brush, um, a marker or a pen. Um, I really like this part here where it says stroke order. Let's see if I'll show it to you guys. So when they do their calligraphy, they go from top to bottom. Then they do left to right. Then they do horizontal before vertical strokes. And then left downward stroke before right downward stroke. That should be pretty interesting. Hi, Devon. <laughs> So, and these are pretty too, these pages that are just like in between. They're really nice. Why am I why am I so crooked? There. So it has all the different leathers, the feather, and it goes step by step on how to create it. And then you've got a little workbook here to uh, to give it a, a try. So it's, it's pretty cool. Jade. So I want to be able to practice that. Hi, Dar. Did I say hi, Dar? <laughs> hi, Petrina. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> so, yeah, so. So, that just has all the different, like, some of these, like, for the word for orange, look at all those characters. It's just like, wow. <laughs> I like one this one for pearl. And I love the, um, the artwork around it as well. Sunflowers. This one's sunlight. And then it gives you a little definition of each one of the, the words, which is nice. But I got a Barnes & Noble, and I think it was only, did I save the tag? Yeah, it was nine dollars So, so let's run through here. This, this one's pretty with the koi fish. And then this one is emotions. So they have different chapters. This one's affection, calm. Contentment, dream, forgive, so pretty with the purple, gentle. This one's nice with the mushrooms. I like that. Good. <laughs> it's not easy to do. Have you tried it, CB? Because you were in what, Japan for how many years? I mean, even if I just got like, if I picked four or five favorite ones and I just kept doing them over and over again. <laughs> Uh, and then I'll eventually I'll just do like Vicky and just just keep going. <laughs> I like that. Uh, so yeah, so it's just different different words like this. A lot of them are hard to do. Some of them are not too bad. Like this, this doesn't look just a square box and just a line. That doesn't look too bad. Peace. But this one, quiet. That's a lot. <laughs> Safe. Uh, and then this one's enlightenment. Like here, look at that one's easy. Center. <laughs> uh, destiny. That's pretty hard. Powered. Yeah, so I'll probably try to just do the easy ones and maybe pick one or two of the difficult ones. <laughs> See, like this one with the square, that doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Hi, Dorothy. This one's not bad. Light. It's only like four or five strokes, but then some of them that get too involved like this. This is too involved. <laughs> so meditation, one. But this one's an easy one. Look at that one. Just a dash. <laughs> so, so we'll see how far I get. This one's not too bad. I like this one. Origin. You can do that with one, <laughs> with one stroke, right? <laughs> Like this one, this one's too complicated. <laughs> but and then it gives you, you know, different all the words to look up if you want to look and see that. Oh, you give me too too much credit. <laughs> Yours looks good. <laughs> all right. So and let me see if they have one case anybody is interested in Savannah Lynn is the I guess the author. And so and then that's the book. Chinese Clever Workbook. <laughs> And then I was talking to Janet about um, 
flex pens because I got this book. I use my coupon on this. I got this one at Hobby Lobby and I, I don't really like brush lettering, but I love this part. See this one with the animals. Isn't it cool? It says be fierce. You have to read that in there. So this is, I don't know, Shin Long Lung. Um, and it's um, a how to guide um, a gallery exploring the art of flourish. So, so I, so I did get, Janet's not here, right? Um, I did get two pens. One is a, the flex pen, but that is hard because you have to really like go really light and then dark. Ugh, so I wind up getting the pens that she suggested and they're much easier. So, so I want to try to do that. So, but look how cool this one is. Hi, H. Hi, Julie. This one, see? So I thought this would be fun to do. And then, of course, they give you the pens and uh, what's on Zebra. Like I watched, um, oh, I can't think of the guy who uh, works for Spellbinders. And he does the calligraphy for Spellbinders. But he's also done the invitations for the Queen in Britain. Um, I can't think of his, I want to say it's John, but I don't remember his name. His work is like awesome. <laughs> But then it tells you the different nibs and all that, you know, the usual stuff. But I have to show you the pictures. <laughs> and there's a different strokes to practice. This one is hard because you have to go light. Then you come down. I've been trying that. <laughs> so we'll see. And it gives you all the different exercises. Like that. Even just that. Doing the little flourishes like that. See how cool that is. <laughs> They're good. That's good, Katrina. <laughs> Uh, feathers. This one's. I always think of feathers like this for Dee Dee. <laughs> Dee Dee always does awesome feathers. <laughs> now this one's a little too much for me. <laughs> the dinosaur. <laughs> but then this one's not too bad. Now see here's the pigeon, and it does simple strokes. It shows you the simple strokes, and then it shows you step by step too. So which is nice. So I'm gonna know. I'm gonna give it a try because a lot of times I don't know. I just don't feel like this week. I just do not feel like arting at all. <laughs> so I don't know. I have to go. Let me get back into it. And then it gives you the different like blobs and do different shapes. Like here, here's the crane. Look at that. Isn't that cool? The crane there. A rooster. I love the jellyfish. There's the rooster. Yeah, it's neat, isn't it, Joe? Like, look at these jellyfish. Like, I think I could do that. That's pretty simple, I think. <laughs> jellyfish. <laughs> and I love the goldfish. So here's how it starts out, the goldfish. Wait till you see the end part. Oh, look at that. that. I want to do that, the goldfish. I think that would look so cool. Took a local class yesterday and made, oh, you made mini books? That's nice. You made six already? That's pretty good. There's a peacock. There you go. Let's see that one. So I just thought it was a really neat book and that I would like to, well, give it a try. Like this. This all reminds me of Dee Dee. She does all that calligraphy. Like even this, this is cute just with the two birds. My camera is so far away today. Let's see. I love watching all the crafty ladies. Like here, the parrot. Look at that one. And the owl. So then they actually write something in the inside and then actually do the. Uh... So, I mean. It really just takes practice, and the pens that Janet suggested, they're um, a pilot. Uh, what did I say? I should have brought them out here to show you. Um, but she had showed them in her last stream, and it's they're so much easier. It's like a flex nib. It's really nice. That's her king. <laughs> oh, the elephant. Oh, look how cute that elephant is. And then this one's a dog. Have you? 
my little bunny. Well, that doesn't look too bad, the bunny. Carpium. Zebra. And it goes, I love zebras, so I'd love to try that. That would be cute, right? So I'll probably bring this book with me to Maryland. So well, look at even on the envelope. See how they do the envelopes? Isn't it cute? So swans, tags. I like the um on the black. See it on the black uh, envelope there? The white writing. So, um, and I've looked at some of those. Chad gave me a YouTube video. Oh my gosh, about flex pens. Forget it. <laughs> And there's that one again. So, so I'm, I'll probably bring this with me. And like I said, I got this one at Hobby Lobby and I used my coupon for this one. It says calligraphy drawing. So, hi Teresa, thank you for the card. I always get beautiful cards from Teresa and all the news that's been going on for the month. And then this is a new art journaling um, book. So if you guys are looking at, cause I couldn't find it in my Barnes and Noble for a while. Um, and then finally, just this week, they put them out. So it's kind of late because I think it was June 1st when it was supposed to come out. So, but I'll just run through this really quick. So it's about salvage little scrap pieces, kind of like what Debbie Epps does. And they have all different designers. I'm just going to flip through it really quick. I love this here on the vanilla tags. That one's pretty. Blue dots. This one. I like this. Who is this by? Her name is Diana Hernandez. So they feature, you know, different different artists like this. I love that. I like anything with black in it. And then the questions. There's this blue. <clears throat> And then there's more. So it's nice for inspiration and just to see different things that other people are doing. Like this, this is a cool book. This kind of reminds me of something Barb does. Barb Owens. The magazine, it is $14.99, but I have the, I'm a member, so I get the 20% off. So what is that like? I don't know, $11, something like that. But you can always rip it up like Dee Dee once we cut these in half and then we started to art journal um, in them. And that was a great idea because the artwork in here is really pretty. And then you kind of work around the artwork. Like here, here's a step out one. And here again, different different artists. I like this one. This reminds me kind of uh, Vaughn. She loves those pink roses. Pretty though. It's great for um, different ideas, different techniques. Sometimes you'll find Sept after he'll be in here sometimes. Um, our Diane's been in here a couple times. Um, Paula was in here once. Or was that? It might have been cloth, paper, scissors, I'm thinking of. <laughs> so. Yeah. So if you're looking for that, it's finally out. This one's cute with the Whimsy Girls. So you can go to your Barnes and Nobles and check that out. Here's another. They always give you different books and the, a lot of sewing in there. It's great ideas. So, so there you go. So that is the new June um, art journaling. All right. All right, so if you guys are going, anyone that's going to Maryland, and I'll, I'll probably post this in um, Patty's uh, Maryland um, group, that don't forget that if you want anything from the store, make sure you give it to me, I'm going to say by like July 6th or 7th, this will have it in time to bring it to Maryland, and then don't forget you'll get the extra 10% off of your order for ordering. So um, I usually do something for Maryland. So I, one time I, I taught Terror Bears. I think last time I taught the watercolor class. Although I don't think I taught anything last year. Um, 
So I thought it would give you guys a little kit so that you could either do it there or you could take it home and do it, whatever you want to do. Um, so I have this mold. Let me show you. I should have brought the mold. I have to bring it next time so I can show you who this is by. So, so it's a little clay door. You can see that there. The metal butterflies. Yeah, these are Finnebar's new uh, metal. Uh, we're going to use some of those. So in the kit, I'm going to include the clay door. I'm going to include some of the flowers. So these are flowers that I used from, um, and I'll show you uh, the AB Studio. If you're not familiar with their stamps and stencils, oh, they're really nice. I wanted to carry them in the store, but with customs and everything else, it just wasn't really worth it to bring them in. But you can order from them. Their shipping isn't too bad at all. But they're, I love their flowers. So we're going to do that. You love the door? Yeah. So everybody will get a door, and then you could decorate it. I'm going to just do it a simple way tonight, but you can um, do it however way you want. Uh, let's pick these out. So I'm not going to include the metals. You have to bring your own metals. So I will include some of um, some lace. Whatever we use tonight, I'll, I'll to let you know what we're going to use. So what's nice about these, they're super thin. Can you see how thin they are? So you can actually bend them and cut them very easily. And then these are her other mechanicals. These are called the woodland leaves. So I thought we would use that. And then I, I brought out a whole bunch of other metals. But like I said, you guys have to bring your own metals. And then you can decide whether you're going to um, put it on a canvas. I'm just going to put it on chipboard now and then maybe transfer it over to a canvas. So, so those are the different leaves, woodland leaves. So we might use those. You love Sean stencils? Sean, uh, Sean who? So we'll put those over to the side. I might use this little word dream. I think this is this is something that you gave me, Joan. I don't think I have that dot that says dream. Can't think of them. So we might add that. So what I decided to do was I think this is gonna be too big. This would be like your canvas. Uh, oh, Sean Petit. Yes, I have some of her stencils. Do I have some? Here? She has really nice stencils. She's actually looking for um, a design team. Uh, I think it's post. It's good until July something. So if you're interested in um, Sean Petit's, uh, if you like her stuff, you know, you can apply to be on her design team. I don't think I have her. Oh, I don't. See. I had them here, but I don't see them right now. Uh, yeah, that one of your die cuts. Oh, maybe you, if we use it tonight, maybe you could die cut one for everybody for me. <laughs> All right. So I think what I'm going to do is because I think I'm going to eventually put this on a canvas. So I think I'm only going to use like a smaller. I'm trying to think if I want to use a smaller door and then put that off. Yeah, I think we're going to do the smaller one. So I'll do that or. One that's a little bit wider. Maybe I'll do the one that's a little. No, I'm going to stay with the skinnier one. <laughs> hey, Kimberly. All right. So let's gesso. Before we do anything, let's gesso this so we can have it ready. I mean, oh, I didn't bring my paintbrush. I'll have to use this one. Paper towel. Where's Eileen? She said she was taking a nap, so she might be oversleeping. <laughs> All right. So this is, let me just shake this up a little. Just some white gesso. If I can open it. There we go. I'm just going to pour it right on there. I still have my mermaid um, stuff to do too, but oh, I didn't feel like really <laughs> doing that mermaid. There, 
was I leaving? <laughs> I didn't know if you were going to make it. <laughs> And this is just made out of from paper, some paper clay. I didn't use um, anything else but paper clay. And we're going to use Finn's waxes to go on here. All right, so let that dry. She said, what? <laughs> All right. So now what I'm going to do is I I don't want to peel back. You don't want to peel back a lot of this um, cardboard because then it'll be too weak. But then I'm going to peel back some of it because I want some of that to show. Oh, and then I'm going to show you, uh, let's see. I can get it going. Just get some of this peeled. You almost signed up for last year. You were. <laughs> I almost tempted this year, but so much other. Oh, step scheduled. Oh, yeah. She has a lot of stencils now. She, um, she's come out with. I have some lace to do too. This is not peeling as good as I want. I might have to use the other call for it. I started peeling that one already. So maybe what we'll do is we'll just let me see if I can tear this. I don't know if I can. I will have some of the cardboard. So in case you guys don't have cardboard um, that are coming to Maryland. I want to see how far. I think maybe I'll leave it like that. I think we need to tear both both edges. Spray it with a little water. It'll be easy. Oh, okay. Thanks, CCB. Oops. Let's do this bottom one. Oh, I wish that was the other way. How do I want? So don't forget, this is going to go on a canvas, probably. I have my canvases upstairs, so I need to put some glue on here. We're going to put gesso over all of this anyway. All right. And then should I leave just that part straight? I kind of really want to have it really. So let me show you some of their, um, if you never heard of AB Studios, let me just show you some of their stuff. I got, um, and the reason I have quite a bit of it is because I got some at Christmas time, and then I had got some while I was in rehab. Um, so I'll show you the stamps first. And if you got, if you got um, any orders for me, usually some of you have gotten a, a tag with this. 
with these little girls on there. But her stamps are really, really nice. And then these are her flower ones. Hey, Patty. <laughs> so these are the ones mostly that we're going to use on the one today. There's these. Um, oh, I must have skipped a page. And there's this one with the feathers. We'll take this one out. Use that. And then this one with the window. Let's see that and the little light bulb. I think that's all. Oh, is it? No. And then I love this one with the paint tubes. Oh, you've seen my tags, yeah. So, yeah, so this is the company here. You'll see it, AB Studio. And it's and you can go to her shop. It's shop.agaeararanik.com. They're made in Poland. So she does really nice watercolor. All right, so those are some of her stamps. And then I'll show you some of her stencils. Stay. Hi, Wendy. Oh, I wouldn't let you sign in. And then we're going to use some, probably a lot of Prima flowers. <laughs> oh, is my camera like, why is my camera like crooked? Hold on. Let me just fix it. Like it's off somewhere. Let's see if I can. Here we go. Wow. Hold on. It won't let me move it at all. Uh, let's see. There we go. That's a little bit better anyway. All right. Uh, which for dog would be great. Poor Oakley. <laughs> Oakley sounds like our Zoe. She's never, ever going to learn. <laughs> never going to learn. Um, so, there's the wax. And then I'll just share some of their stencils. So we're going to use some of those tonight. Okay. This is some of her paper. She makes her own paper. So you can see here. Show you those. Mm. I will show them to you all. <laughs> oh so you can see there. So they have the ones for like tags. There's the ones for a doily. She also has this girl. I forget what this girl's name is. But she also works with her. You've seen her art. She's very similar to um, Mindy Lacefield. And then this one's pretty with the leaves. And there's that. This one. Little dots, maybe we'll use that one. And the big circles, and the mermaid one, of course. <laughs> and then these flowers, gems, more flowers. <laughs> That's some goodies that she gave me. There's this, maybe we'll use that one, the leaf one, and then the other flower one. So that's some of their stencils. And then this is her paper. So here is her shop there. You can see her shop. But basically, these are like her flowers that she makes. So you can see that there. I only bought like two sheets of that. And their shipping's not too bad um, if you do order from them. This is the other girl, and I don't know if her name is on here. Yeah, that's her. Tandy Art Magic. 
you've seen her. If you're on Instagram, you've seen it. She's very similar to um, Mindy Lacefield. Both of those have the same style. So, so that's some of her work. And then these are the bigger stencils. So I do want to use one of these. I'm not sure which one do I want to use. The one with the roses. This one, maybe this one with the leaf. So you can see there's that one. There's this one with the rose. And then there's this one. This one's called flowered background. It's hard to get her stencils because she only has them numbered. She doesn't really name them. This one's a pretty one too, this doily one. I like that one. And then there's this other one. So I think we're going to use that. It's hot here today. So I think we'll try this one. We'll use this. I want to use this stencil here. <laughs> oh, we plants to be bad? No way. <laughs> That one, and I don't know if this one is, if you're interested, that's number 128. Uh, let's see. This one, I don't know if I wrote down the number I did it. So we might use that one. And we have Finn's wax to use. I have quite a few for waxes, so we're gonna use those. So that's pretty much dry. So I thought, let's see, I'm gonna put some paste on here first. Let's go with um, some texture paste. I really like those leaves. Let's do that. So I have some texture paste. And I need to get rid of these. We're not going to do um, put it like everywhere. like in the corner maybe. So there you can see that one. Pretty there. And then we'll add a little bit here. I just showed the books. You'll have to watch the replay. Oh, I was trying to watch it and I had so much buffering the other night. I don't know why that is. You guys have a lot of buffering with mine right now? I was just wondering. So there. So there's that one. All right, so we have that. Uh, I need a wipe. Oh, no buffering. Oh, you just get knocked off. <laughs> well, that's good. So I always turn off my other computer, too, so that I could just concentrate on this one. So let me clean this up. Oops. Poor Colleen, I know. It's a nightmare. It is so frustrating when they, that happens all the time. All right, there we 
go. All right, so we have our door. I'm going to put this on, um, I want it like up higher. So I'm actually just going to tear some cardboard. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> um, so let's prop this up a little so this way we could stick stuff underneath there. So I'm going to stick it down here so this way will be so. I'm actually going to put two layers. So we can stick stuff underneath. And I probably should have some, some of Finn's matte medium, but I don't know where that is right now. <sighs> so I'm just going to use this. I don't think I have any gel. I really need um, some gel medium. What do I have here? Soft gel, that should do it. That'll help it stick on there. Hi, Amalia. <laughs> I'm just showing you what we're going to make. Well, what you guys can make for at Maryland if you want to. And so I'm just going to have a small kit with the door and some flowers and... So let's see, should we put some ribbon? I don't want some of this. Another piece of, uh, another piece of ribbon I'm trying to look for. Uh, Marilyn, we go uh, July 20, the 27th. Gwen? Oh my gosh. Hi, Gwen. How are you? I'm going to put this. So this is just a little piece of lace. I want to have lace for everybody. So we'll have to bring some. But I like this lace because it gives a lot of texture. Can you see it's like, it's got these tiny little, um, let me we'll put that underneath here. Maybe besides the door. I think I'll maybe I'll put it inside the door. <laughs> so so we have that so far. So if you have just like a paper doily or anything you want, I will have this lace. I'll give you guys this piece of lace. I'm trying to see where. Do I want the lace? Of course, you don't have to follow it the way I have it. You can put it any way that you like. I don't know if I use this one or not. I think I like this one better. I do this one. So I have enough lace. So I'll give you a piece of this lace and the door. Let's stick that in there like that. With my soft gel. Yeah, it'll be fun. It's always fun. We usually go to the Queen's Ink and people who haven't don't have a Hobby Lobby next to them. We usually go to Hobby Lobby, Joanne's.
How have you been, Gwen? Gwen, we used to, um, I met Gwen at, when I was on scrap -a Do's design team and we went to um, Creativation or actually back then it was CHA. And I got to meet Gwen in person. She used to stream. You don't stream anymore. Oh, she makes, yeah, she likes, she likes making junk journals. I have one. I won one of her junk journals. I still have it. It's very pretty, light blue with the pearls. It's really pretty. All right. <laughs> so that's good. So you're still already fit, Gwen. Yay. <laughs> I'd like to try to go to Creativation this year. I don't know if I will, though. All right, so we have that so far. We have that with a little piece of lace, the door. Hi, Jane. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> How are you? How are, I can't believe you're here. I'm just doing a mixed media class today. Usually, I work with most of your stuff, but today we're just doing a mixed media. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What a surprise. <laughs> Jane, I said some happy mail and she's got a new it starts today doesn't it Jane she's got a new I've told them last week uh mixed media class for her stuff it's free if you go on her site you're well that's good oh <laughs> yeah so I think for us it starts tonight right because she's in Australia so her class start which is Monday there and it starts but it's free for all her new mixed media stuff remember I showed you guys that it was in Hobby Lobby last week so you guys have to check it out. All right. So I'm going to add some of this tool. I think I might add it down in here. <laughs> yes, it starts today. Yeah. Yes, you guys check it out. I know we have it um, in my Hobby Lobby. They have it. And it starts starting to go around. I was telling them, too, who is the guy that works for Spellbinders? I showed calligraphy in the beginning. I can't remember his name. The one that works for the queen? I was showing them a calligraphy book, and I'm dying to do some calligraphy. Paul, thank you. Paul Antonio, yes. Oh, do I know what time the mixed media class is? Um, she says starts Monday at 10 her time. So I don't know what time that is our time, but we usually get it. I would say about now, right, Jane? Is it live now or in a couple hours? Might be like 10 or our time. And then I actually did these with the rose gold, you know, my rose gold, uh, Patty's rose gold. So I actually did those flowers with that. Scribe on Instagram. Yes. Yeah, if you follow Jean on Instagram and you can, all her stuff is there. Yeah, I did. Um, I showed them. What else do I need here? I'm trying to concentrate and talk at the same time. <laughs> There's in three hours. So, oh, she's just waking up. <laughs> so, yeah. So, if you go on janedavenport.com or Instagram, you could get it there. Facebook, you could get it through there. It's the mixed media um, archaeology. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, you could join it on Facebook and get it. Just go to her site to get the class. It's free class. So, and her classes are awesome. You guys know I've shown you her classes. So, they go through. So, yeah, 12, 14 hours from us. Yes. All right. So, I'm going to add these leaves. So you can see here I've used the watercolor. I'm going to add some leaves. And then we're either going to write the word dreams. You could dream about going through another doorway or this could be your house door whatever you want so <laughs> and I think I'm going to do when we put this on the canvas I think what we'll do is I'll make another little vignette down in here so we'll see thanks Kimberly mm -hmm. yeah it's with her new making faces you know um, the 
like makeup line. I've showed you guys that before. I love the pastels in hers. Yes, we're all going to wish Tinsel good luck. Oh, poor Tinsel. That's my, my poor Holly. All right, so what I think I'm going to do before we add all these flowers is we're going to white gesso this. So I'm going to paint the whole thing white because I have some metals I want to add here on here as well. So let's see. We can put a little picture frame. I'm going to put the little picture frame down in here because don't forget this will go back on a canvas. I wanted some um, I wanted some gears, which I couldn't find my metal gears. So let me see, I have just a couple of metals here. Let's see what we want to put on here. I definitely want to get a key on here. So I either have one of these where we could put the key on that where I have this longer one. Oh, that's good, Jane. <laughs> she's busy. She's writing her new book. I can't wait to get, she's got a new book. It's about animals um, in October. I think I got a thing from Amazon saying it was coming in October. And then she's working on another book. <laughs> the key. <laughs> oh, the key. I think I'm going to use this one. So that'll go there. Of that there, so I can add a little picture here or a little word, whatever I want to add on there. Right, let's see what else. I have some of. I have this key too. Look at this one with the mermaid on it. Can you see the little mermaid? I might have to use that one. Put the little key. We'll see. I have that and I have a little door. I pulled out some of my metals. Up, my metals are upstairs, so I couldn't get upstairs. I also have some of Tim's members. And a cute little bee. I'll have to stick this little bee on there somewhere. And it's a real cool embellishment we can buy. If you can buy the key. <laughs> mm. This key here, this is the one you like or the mermaid one? Because I can send you one. The mermaid key? Okay, I have two of those, so I'll send you one of those. I have some mermaid charms. When I find them, I'll, um, that and the little octopus, I'll send it to you. <laughs> and this, like, this one's got a tiny little octopus. You can see that there. <laughs> oh, here we are. So we have the key to hole. And I got this tiny little key. Thought I had an, okay, here we go. So we'll either do the oval one or the square one. Yeah, I usually go to a flea market on, um, we have a really good flea market on Wednesdays and I usually get all my lace there and I get some metal embellishments. It's really nice. All right, I have some metal leaves we can use. You have a new shop and a new, oh, that's nice, Gwen. So if you want to check out Gwen's shop and her YouTube channel, just click on the three little dots by her name. All right. All right. So let's glue some of these down. So I have my, let's see what other paste I have here. This one is light modeling paste. I'll have to go with the soft gel. Is it just for junk journals, Gwen? All right, so I think I'm going to go with, I think I'm going to go with the mermaid. Mermaid, my key, and maybe one of these. So it'll be the door on top of the key. Because I want to put some flowers in here too, so I don't want to put too many metals. We'll do that. Making door, for, yes, I'll have the clay door for everyone. And then I'm going to bring some cardboard. And then some of these flowers, I have some of these flowers printed out. So you could color them your own, you know, whatever color you want. Um, 
cut this out. So then you could decide to do it at the crop there, or you could decide to take it home and do it. However you want to do it. Oh, you're welcome. I always bring a little something, so I figure. Oh, here's my second key. So that one will be for you, Jane. This one's, it's got the mermaid. Oh, I almost don't want to cover it. Look, and it's got waves in the back. <laughs> but I'll have to use the mermaid one. Yeah, remember last year or two years ago, we did the mermaid canvas. That was nice. I think I'm going to put this one on here instead. All right, I have to start gluing things down instead of waiting. And then we're going to cover it all with gesso. Match it, yeah, so try to, thanks, Jane, yeah. I always try to find mermaids. It's not too too bad because I live by the shore, so it's kind of easy to find some sometimes. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. As well. <laughs> I need a little bit of something to go underneath that. Well, you know, this key, I'm going to use this key one instead. Smaller. How am I? Doing better. I can finally drive now. Um, I just started going upstairs one foot at a time, but I have to come down backwards because my left leg is still not um, strong enough. The um, quad, since it was um, kept straight for like the six months, um, I have it's really weak the quad. So it's getting better, but I can't do stairs yet. So hopefully. I'm still walking with the cane. Hopefully before I go to Maryland, the retreat, um, I'll be without the cane, I hope. <laughs> so but I'm still doing PT three times a week. And uh, I got called for jury duty. I'm hoping that's, um, they gave me two. Two. It's not bad enough that they called me to jury duty for one time. I got two. They want me to come July 22nd and then come again like August 13th. I'm like, really? <laughs> All right. So we have that. I think I'm going to add some of these flowers. I don't know if I want to add the flowers now or later. Have you decorated the cane at all? <laughs> I decorated it with your mermaids, but some of them are coming off because I should have put matte medium over. So I have to redo it. So I definitely have to do that again. All right, I think I'm going to cut this. But yeah, my cane, I hate those black canes. So I painted it all white and then I used some sticker paper. And with Jane's mermaids that she had on um, the catalog for Spellbinders, not this year, last year. I put some on there and everybody asks me all the time when I'm walking, like, where did you get that cane? I'm like, oh, I made it. <laughs> Jane Davenport stuff. <laughs> and they're like, they like it. All right. So I'm going to put this here. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. Yeah, it's slowly but surely coming along. <laughs> all right. I'm going to put this down. Yeah, I really didn't think, well, I should have known, but it, I just, you know how when you just think that, oh, well, that's not going to be that long. <laughs> and it's like, oh, yeah, it's long because <laughs> it's been since when I went December and this is going towards July, like seven months already. So it's like, oh, it just feels like really long. <laughs> it's hot here today. 70 in Florida. <laughs> I was trying to figure out Jane's having her workshop in July. And I'm like, oh, I wish I could go. <laughs> but I'll have to try again the next time. They don't really don't want me flying right now. I think I have to wait like another two months before I could start flying. All right. So I'll let that dry now. I got this cute little bird too. I'll stick that on there. All 
Let's cut these off. I like to dedicate these Timmy scissors just for cutting metal. <laughs> I know you can ruin them. I don't know if he's well enough to fly yet either. They have, um, what's the next show? I forget whatever show it is. Diane Reevely was talking about it and was hoping that he could make it, but I don't know if he will. All right, you know what I might do is in here, I might stick my house number is 54. So I think that's what I might put in here. That's what I'm gonna stick in there. Ikea. And then next week, we'll try to finish the mermaid um, box up. I also have some mermaid frames. Like when I go to PT, last last time was a PT, I gave them each a, um, a Christmas ornament that with the pouring. So this time I have a picture frame and then I have the clay mermaid I'm going to put on there and give them that. So I have to make like three of those. So we'll do that next, next week. We'll work with the mermaid clay. And then I've got my seashells I've got to look for. We'll put some pearls and stuff in there. All right, so this is what we have so far. So if you come to Maryland, in your kit will be this door, will be this lace. Got to bring your own medals. And then I will um, give you some of these, the flowers and the, the leaves. All right, so all right, let's white gesso this. This is not really steady yet. Um, let me get my dryer out and see if we could dry some of this out first. So heat gun, you have earplugs in. <laughs> Turn your sound down. And then you could use this, like I said, for, you know, a new home or, you know, when one door closes, another door opens or whatever, whatever you want to put on here. Hey, Debbie. The wax, yeah, we're gonna use the wax on there. Mm -hmm. Not really dry enough yet, but we'll see. All right, so now we're just gonna paint the whole thing white. And then we'll um, we'll add some stuff on here. I need my paintbrush. You love her wax, yeah. I love her, the smell of Ben's wax. It really smells good. All right, let me clean up my desk because it's a little messy. <laughs> Let's get rid of some of this. I'll leave some of the leaves out just in case we want to add some more of that. Oh, my word, dream. Put that in there. Hi, Vaughn. I've been waiting for oh, was the stream to pop up. Oh, it never did. Sorry. I know sometimes it pops up right away and then sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, well, you guys all remember every Sunday now I stream at four o'clock. Oh, I need to put one of these for my little dog. Oh, Jane, I'll have to send you some of these, the dog um, clips. I'll send you a couple of those. I can use this heart one too. I'm gonna leave the bee out. All right, <clears throat> that away. I'm gonna add this little dog on here. Our cute little puppies.
There we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I haven't said things. I have been collecting um, like metals and stuff. Oh, I don't know for years. Um, I have like a big, I can't get upstairs to where my other big, it's a big, what do you call it? Case like, and it's just filled with all uh, different ones. Like I keep ones for like Halloween and one for Easter, one that just is dedicated for hearts, one that's going to take for flowers. Yeah, I have a lot. <laughs> all right, I'm going to paint this all white now. And then we'll add Finn's. Um, I might leave some of this brown cardboard showing because I think I'm going to use white and brown and maybe a little teal um, on here. So we'll see. I love this for texture, the lace part. I should put a piece of something underneath here. White, what are we? Oh, I missed something in the chat there. All right, then we'll have to dry this. And then I got some distress sprays we might put on here. That lace with the small little openings leaves such nice texture. And we already just sewed the door, so I don't have to worry about that. I might have to get out my glue gun if I can't get this to stay. Oh, thanks, Petrina. <laughs> It always is nice when it's um when you start putting the color on it and you're seeing all the texture come out. Oh, thanks, Vaughn. <laughs> What's nice too is if you're traveling and if you're from Maryland and the cardboard is light, and then you can worry about bring it putting it on a canvas when you get home. Just bring some I'll have some plastic wrap for your door. So that it doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't get too squished. I don't want too much of my mermaid being covered up. There we go. Might have to put some other glue on here. There we go. All right, so I think I'm going to leave it like that, and then we can always add more color to it after. The door could be, yes, could be mermaid door. I thought about when I did go to Maryland, I might do another one and then I might get my mermaid moles and put like little sea creatures coming out of the door and a mermaid's tail. <laughs> so we'll see. I thought since you guys will be doing this on your own that, you know, we just do something simple. 
All right, so there we go. All right, so I have to get the heat gun out again. So lower your, uh, cover your ears. Okay, there we go. So have the heat gun. And if you guys are interested in these little clay doors, I could put them in the store. So if you want, just let me know if you want to create your own. I could have add some crackle paste on here too as well, but that'll be good enough for now. So we got everything all nice and white. So now I think I'm gonna start with um what do we have here? Walnut. So this is the distress um oxide spray vintage photo. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of this on here. Actually, I'm gonna use my brush, I think. camera a little so hold on a second oh. <laughs> all right you love the door oh you will okay I'll put them in the store um I'll have to make some. So and I have to ask Patty how many people. I think there's 20 people coming to uh, want to get the spray to Maryland. So I might want to spray this on here first, I think. And then let me know if you want me to make a little kit where I can um, include some of the flowers, how you guys want it. All right, now. I'm going to get some for towel. And then you can start to see how all the texture comes out. So there you can see. Isn't that cool? Back uh, oh no, now what, Patty? 20 for, oh, as of today, okay, good. All right, so, and I think I'm gonna spray a little bit on here. What happened? Aww. All right, so we have some, some of the brown going on. Oh, sorry. All right, and so I'm going to have to use a heat gun for this again. I'm going to move this over. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of teal to this as well. So, 
that's terrible. You can cup your ears. Yeah, it looks good on the doors. Then I'm going to put some thin wax on here, so that'll work. You can. Oh, I need to. It's terrible. What spray did I use? I use the um, this one, Vintage Photo Distress Oxides. But I want to put a little teal in here. I'm just deciding what do I want to use. I might use a little bit of this. This is James. Order this down. I need a palette thing. Hold on. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to stick a little. I also have my watercolors. I thought about putting watercolor on here. So, oh, don't tell. Oh, this is a new one. Oops. All right, so I'm going to water this down. I want it really watery so that we can get some. I just want touches of this blue on there. Um, let's see. So you see how pretty that looks with the blue, just the light blue, and then we're going to add the flowers in there too. Oops. And then, you know, like I said, in Maryland, you can pick whatever color you guys, you know, want you don't have to go with these colors i just kind of want to do a vintage type look the blue looks pretty yes it does that's jane's blue <laughs> some blue and then with the pink flowers it'll be pretty get some blue down in here uh, i wonder what a brown infusion drip down would look like brown infusion. I don't have any infusions. I'll make my little mermaid blue, blue green. <laughs> we could put some drips in here, but um, oh, I like it on the frame. Look how pretty that looks on the frame. All right. I might have to put some like glue, hot glue on that. It's pretty look. That it almost makes it like a teal green. Can you see that with the brown? It's pretty. All right. So we have to dry this. And then we'll add some flowers on it. We'll make five doors for me. Oh my gosh. Yes. Just, um, yep, yeah, you can just send me an email and then I will make the doors. <laughs> All right, heat gun. 
they make great gifts. So I think that door would be a nice um, housewarming gift if you were going to somebody's house and you wanted to give them something. Now, like I've used really almost all just like scraps, like I said, just the corrugate um, cord and then just some lace that I had around and metals that I had. So, and if you didn't have the metals, you could use die cuts or um, a doily where I have the lace, you could use a doily instead. Anything green is awesome, <laughs> of course. Eileen loves green. She's not like us, Jane. She hates pink. <laughs> so if anytime I ask for anything, Eileen will always say she wants green. <laughs> All right. So that one's looking pretty cute. We're not finished yet either. All right, so I'm gonna save this because I think we might use this blue again. Let me see where I can put this. Let me just sit it right there. Uh, let me just read chat here. Pink and greens go very nicely. <laughs> How thick is the door? Uh, about a quarter inch. Not very, thick. I have cardboard underneath here so it looks thicker than it is. But um, I'd say about a quarter inch thick. All right, so let's start putting some of our cute flowers and stuff in here. So I have this. Um, I have these cute little roses too. So, and then with these leaves, you can also make them like 3D. So I'm going to pinch them along the seam. And then just, so now they look, can you see they look kind of 3D-ish? It's hard to see with the white. So they'll pop up. I have uh, I like that leaf for this one. Maybe I'll do that one. Oh, thanks, Kimberly. Uh, let's see. And I think I'll stick this one up in here. I thought I had some more flowers. Let's see. I do. So, yeah, so I did most of them with rose gold. So, you can see that. I'll stick that there. I love that rose gold. Jane, I'll have to send you, because she used all of her rose gold. So, I'll have to send you another one. And then I made a new one, uh, Mermaid Lagoon. That one's new. I just made that one this week. So, all right. So, I'm debating whether I want to add. So, that looks pretty cute right there. I don't want to cover up my mermaid, though. There we go. <laughs> All right, so let's glue those down, and then I need to pop that up just a little bit. I don't know where my pop ducks are. All right. Uh, sometimes I'll cut these flowers, too, just to make them also 3D-ish. So you can cut them along the seams and then this way you can curl them up. Like that. Got 
the one I had there? This one. Orange when it's made from yellow and pink. It's not <laughs> straight orange. I'm going to put my leaf on top of that. There. So I have a cute little flower there. <clears throat> okay, Devon, bye. Thanks for coming. All right, and then I think we're going to add just a few more. I'd like to put this word dream in here somewhere. Maybe in there. Dream, and should we stick a little flower? Let's see if I have one here. We have the bird up there. I have this cute little bird's nest I've been holding on to like forever. So I think I'm gonna stick that up in there. So this will just give you an idea of like, you know, kind of what you can do your door. You can make your door any way you want. Doesn't have to be like this. You could put it on a canvas, however you want to make it. Uh, I need some more flowers. Let's see. I might do this still another little whoops. So we have that. I'm just debating whether I should put something down. Maybe I'll we'll do this. And put this one down in here like that. Oh, that's cute. So we'll do that. We'll put the little flower down there. So I'll have some flowers for you. I have to, um, when I go upstairs, hopefully I'll get up there in the next week or two. And I've got a whole bunch of flowers there. So I will bring some flowers for you guys to pick through. I'm going to add this word dream. So Joan, if um, you don't mind printing out the, the word dream for the girls, that would be great. All right, so we have that. Isn't that pretty? It looks pretty cute, doesn't it? All right now, we're going to add Finn's waxes. So let me clean up my desk just a tad. Get rid of all this. Oh, we didn't put the little bee. I wanted to get that bee in there somewhere, but I don't think it'll go. No. You will. Thanks, June. So I think maybe I'll add another leaf here as well. I think we need one more. We have one, two. I like to do things in threes. So let's see. We have another leaf here. We can add another leaf somewhere. Let's put it up this one there. So again, you just want to... What happened? One leaving? Missed it. All right. So I need a little glue for here. The first thing I'm sending you to do is I don't have the mermaid on it. The first thing... Wait a minute. Oh, first thing in a long time I've done it doesn't have a mermaid. No, it does. The key. Did you miss it, Patty? The key has a mermaid. <laughs> you missed it. Right here. I picked the key with the mermaid. You probably can't see it. It doesn't focus. <laughs> but not mostly not mermaidish. True. <laughs> I'm always doing mermaids. All right. So now let's see. So I have quite a few. Let's clean this all up. This. As I do want to print on here too. I'll put some. Inking, stamping, printing. That one I have to save for Jane. <laughs> you knew you missed something. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
So I have some of Finn's wax here. This is rich copper. And this just makes a nice, um, I have quite a few. These are her, the very first ones that came out. So this is, I have the rose gold, which I have rose gold in here. Um, so maybe we'll use the rose gold. I have this one, it's turquoise satin. I thought I had another one that was kind of turquoise. Oh yeah, this one's mystic turquoise. So I don't know what the difference is between these. So we'll use that. Let's see. Oh, that's dark. You see how dark that is? It looks almost black. It smells so good though. Oh, that's dark blue. All right, so that one was called mystic turquoise. I think that's too dark. This one is turquoise satin. Hey, Safia. Oh, this is one of those iridescents. I don't know if this one's going to show up or not. Let's see. It might be too light. Yeah, this one is too light. Let's see what the rose gold looks like. Huh. All right, that's pinkish. So we'll use maybe that one. Put my hands a little. And then these are the newer ones of Finn's. The light blue. I like the light blue. We don't need purple. Oh, this one. This one is that uh, mint sparkle. The green. This one is sweet rose. Old denim. Old denim is pretty dark, too, though. Oh, the peacock. I love the peacock one. Um... The rose gold is pretty, right? This one is Heather Mills, which is another purple. This one is really deep, this Indian pink. And then I've got Firebird. Oh, I forget what color Firebird is. Waxes, these are Finn's waxes, so you just touch it over the top and it gives, it makes it really, it makes the metals shine a little brighter. Let me just clean some of my hands first. You'll see. It, um, I've done it when I did the, remember the Halloween canvas, we used it on that, where we um, did it on the metals. Did Christmas time, I did the Christmas tree that was like, a, had mermaids and jellyfish on it. All right, so let's see. Um, let's try the mint one first. Just look at that, that mint green. All right, so. If I can get all this uh, wax off my hands. So um, I'm going to put it in the back. Look how pretty that is. It's like a greenish. So I don't want to put a lot on here. So, oh, yeah, that's pretty. I might have to go darker. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it right there? Here, where I put it, it's very light, but it's really pretty. But now I'm like mermaid-ish. <laughs> Oh, see, and then the darker I put it, oh, that's pretty. So when you go over it, it's a little bit darker, and it's shiny. It doesn't really show that much on there. Oh, my little dream. So let's try this. I might try to color this dream. You see it? Oh, good. So let me see if I can, I'm going to try to bring it up here and see if I don't know if I have enough on here. But can you see like when I start touching it over the wax, I need a little bit more. Hold on. Can you see that there now? We're starting to go over the texture part. It's really pretty. This is a really pretty color. It's mint greenish.
it just makes everything stand out. So now you can see that there. Pretty, right? All right. I'm going to put a little bit up. Let's see if I have enough on my fans. Up on the top here. Oh, too much. my hands and everything <laughs> so there you can see it see it on the corner there like I want to put it on the dog so the dog will stand out and we'll put it on the mermaid I think for the mermaid though I'm going to use a peacock one Right, it doesn't mold either yet. Oh, look at that color. <laughs> that is beautiful. All right. And I'm going to do what Finn usually does this on the palm of her hand, but I can't turn my wrist. So, oh, that's pretty. Can you see now how it brings out the mermaid? There, you can see it there. So, as I. Looks so pretty now, that mermaid. And now what? Now you can't really notice the keychain. See, it just looks kind of white. But now, now you can see it. I'll have to turn on the focus if I can at the end. Mine never wants to focus. So when there's a little dog, see that? <laughs> so cute. And then see here, like you didn't even notice the metal here, but then once you rub the wax on, it just really shows. I have to put more, more glue on there. And then for the door, I think I'm gonna go more brownish on the door. Oh, that peacock one is like my favorite, that one. Oops. Hey, Cece. <laughs> Can you see it there? Look how pretty that is. Oh, that's so nice. And then the 54, you see, you can't really notice the 54. So let's pick another color for that. So do I have enough? Oh, let's do the bird. I want to do the bird in the green. Oh, thanks, Cece. <laughs> yeah, we're just, it's just the clay door, and then I just put it on corrugate, and then I'll, I'm going to put it on a piece of canvas um, after. But, so there we go. So you can see that, the little bird. Now you can notice the bird and that. All right. That definitely is my favorite, I think, of all the colors that she's put out is this new peacock color. This one. Can you see it? The peacock? That's really pretty. Oh, Jane, see, I took some of my tie and made them um, so I could put my hair in a ponytail. But I've also wrapped it and used it to put around my journals, my watercolor journals. All right. So for the door, we want to go in there with a the little... Something darker. Let's see what this firebird is. Oh, I forgot to put this on. Jane Cece was at our one last year and she taught us some intuitive watercolor. It was a good class. And she made us these cute little journals. That was really nice. All right. So let's see, we want to go, let's try the Firebird. Firebird, ooh, that's like really red orange. I don't know if I want to go that dark. Let's see what the rich copper is like. Oh, this one's a little bit better, kind of more brownish, which I want. All right. So, I 
watch something is over. I missed it. The Mermaid Keys. Oh, thanks, Petrina. Yeah, I love the Mermaid Keys. So cute. All right. So let's. So you can see it's kind of more of like a um, burgundy kind of color, and I don't want a lot. So I'll bring it up here so you can see. Oh, a little bit more. So there you can see. See how nice it looks? I'm just going to go lightly over the front panels of the door and go heavier on the top. This one I went a little bit too heavy, but it's too late now. <laughs> that is the one thing about it. There we are. Isn't it nice? So now we want to put this somewhere else as well. So let's add some down in here. You would go over with the rose gold to lighten it up. Oh, that's a good idea. I will go over the rose gold with that. Just the waxes make it look so nice, doesn't it? Paula, oh my gosh, hi Paula. All right, so let's go over that with the rose gold now. We're almost done. Let's see, this one is, oh yeah, this one's the rose gold. So I'm gonna take my finger. Oh, not too much lighter. You've never seen waxes? Oh, you you never did? This is Finnabar's new waxes, and it just highlights all the, um, it's really nice, and it smells so good. If I have an extra one, I have a couple extras, I'll send it to you, so you could give it a try. All right, there. So I think we're pretty much done. Do you think we should add anything else? And it'll look nice on the canvas. And of course, in the canvas, I'll just color it with put some lace and put something else on. But I think it looks pretty cute as it is. We have enough flowers on there. I wish I wouldn't have gone so dark here. I might have to go back over this with some just let me see if I can take this off. Some of it. Oh yeah, some of it'll come off. There we go. That's better. Oh, I like that now. Much better. Thanks, Paula. How are you? You love the waxes too, Petrina? Yeah. I love the waxes. Oh, they smell so good too. And it just highlights all the um, high points. So let me see if I can get my focus on so this way I can show you guys better. Hold on a second. Let's see. Hold on. Okay, so it should be on now. So let's see how well it will, oh, there we go. Nope, the focusing is always the hard part here. Come on. Oh, there, oh I had it, there we go. Nope, you have to hold it so perfectly straight. It's like, let's see if I can move it there. You can see the little dog, the dream. There's a little mermaid key. <laughs> oh, I didn't put any wax over the numbers. We have to do that. So here you can see the wax here. See if I, oh, there it is. That's nice and focused right there. Let's see if it comes over. Come on, you just had it. I just had it. There it is. 
can see how pretty the colors are, right? All right, so let's do the numbers. So with the numbers, I think I'm going to do it with the, the copper. All right, so next week we will um, do the mermaid frames. I have the mermaid box that's got the big clay on it. And then I've got the photo mats. Though. So that's what we're going to work on next week. Oh, that looks good. Much better. There we go. So there it is. That's the one there. See how much better it shows up? It's so nice, these waxes. So, so any questions? Thanks for joining us, Jane. That was a nice surprise. So don't forget Jane's new mixed media class starts, for us, it starts tonight. And so you just have to go to her, either her blog or her Facebook and sign up for it. It's free and it's all with her new making faces. So, and then I'll send out this little happy mail for you, Jane, next week. So, so that's all. I think it came out pretty cute and not much. You don't really need much, even if you didn't want it. Like I tore. Uh, that's nice, Jane. Um, even though I tore mine, you could just left yours, you know, square and used it as instead of a canvas. And it's nice and light. So you, you know, can do it on the door. Ah, <laughs> thanks, Jane. Oh my gosh, you have that girl, Paula. You have to see Journal Artista there, Jane. You had started her on makeup. She is like crazy about makeup now. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so then. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, Jane. All right, so I will see you next Sunday. Remember, my Sunday streams now are at 4 o'clock instead of 7.30. So always 4. Yeah, makeup fun. Hi, Norma. <laughs> oh, you didn't get a notification? Always remember now, Sunday, I go come on at 4 Eastern. So, thanks, Petrina. So, and then I might put this on a canvas, and then I'll show it to you when I'm done. But this is what you, you guys who are going to Maryland is basically what you can do. And like I said, you can either do it there when you're at the retreat, or you could take it home and do it. So, <laughs> it's at Hobby Lobby now, though. You don't have Hobby Lobby there, do you, Jane? I mean, do you, Paula? Thanks, CC. Thanks, CB. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good week, and I will see you next Sunday. Thanks, Jane, for coming. It was great. All you guys. Oh, thanks, everyone. Oh, she's just happy. Have fun to everybody in Maryland. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>